Today is Sunday, October 18th. You know, I keep wanting to say September. I don't know why. I, I just, the, the year is going by so fast. And then in some regards, it's going by so slow. <laughs> so, um, I've already went to Mass and church and I took my shower. So now I am officially the cleanest one in the house. And um, I looked at my birthday calendar and you know what? There was no birthdays for today. I don't understand it. How can there not be a birthday today? But I have a new subscriber that came over from Valerie Reese's channel, Lady Jane, who's being very evasive about her birthday. <laughs> she just told me her birthday recently passed, is all she told me. And um, hopefully I'm not embarrassing her or anything, but you know, it's your birthday. It was your birthday. You should have got a song. I'm sure you got a song, but just in case, just in case you didn't get a song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lady Jane. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Oh, I love birthdays. I just love birthdays. And so even if I can't find a birthday, I'm going to make up a birthday for someone. But, um, which brings me to the topic for today is um, relating to how special you really are. People don't think, you know, you think that you got to be a movie star or like uh, an athlete or somebody famous to be special. And you know what? You're not. You're special to somebody in your life. If you're a, a mother or a father, you're special to that child. If you're a grandmother or a grandfather, you're special to that child too or that person. If you're an aunt or an uncle, if you're just a friend, you're special. There's at least one person in your life that looks at you and thinks of you as special, even if you won't think of yourself as being special. And one of the reasons I so enjoy birthdays is because that's the one day out of the year. I mean, you should be special every day out of the year as far as I'm concerned. But that's just the one day out of the year that it's really, it's your day. It's you. It's all about you. It should be all about you. And a lot of us think that when we become adults that we have to leave our child side, childlike behavior behind. I realize that sometimes you got to get mature and you got to be an adult and you got to be, you know, like the grown-up in the room. But you can't always be the grown-up in the room. Sometimes you've got to be the child. And I think that the reason I don't feel 70 years old is because I'm like a child in a lot of regards. Um, birthdays especially. I just, I just think that that's your one day. And I, I have so many subscribers and so many of you... I don't know if it's just that you don't want to acknowledge your birthday. I, I don't, you need to tell me how old you are. I mean, a lot of people, I mean, I don't have a problem. I'm 70. I'll say it out loud. I don't care. It's not going to make me any older. It's not going to make me any younger. It's just how old I am. So, but you don't have to tell me that, you know. Um, if you if you want to have uh, me sing you on your birthday, but just only you know it's your birthday, just say, you know, I'd like you to sing for me on my birthday. My birthday is such and such a date, but I don't really want my name out there on the internet. But can you call me like Sweetkins or Pickle or Peanut Butter or something? And I'll sing to you by that name. I will, because I just want to acknowledge you that, you know, you are special. And you can't ever forget that. You just really can't. There's only one you in the whole world. And you are the only one that's with you every single moment of your life. From the minute you're born to the minute you die, you are always there with yourself. And if you tell yourself that you're not special, how can you expect other people to think you're special? And, and I don't mean like go around telling everybody, oh, I'm special, I'm special, like you're conceited or anything. But you make a difference in someone's life whether you believe it or not. You really do make a difference in someone's life. I, so many of you I don't know personally. But I think I know you. You know, I really, I, I knew I knew you. <laughs> Movie line. I knew I knew you. But that doesn't make you any less special to me because you help me every day. Every day on my journey, you help me to succeed in this weight loss journey. You really do. You may not think you do because you think, how do I make a difference in, in Sandy's life? Trust me, 
uh, reading your comments, I, I just love them. And I love, love, love when you point things out to me. <laughs> and I think a lot of you don't because you think you're going to hurt my feelings. Look at this. Thick skin. I know it's getting thinner, though. <laughs> it's getting thinner nature-wise, but it's not any thinner any other way. Um, everybody probably would like yes people around them going, yeah, you're right, yeah, you're right, you're right. But then, do you really... Do you really trust their judgment then sometimes? Because sometimes you do things wrong and they're still praising you and you think, I don't know about them. They're not really being truthful with me. You know, can I really trust what they're saying? So don't ever feel like you can't, if you fi find out that I should be doing something differently or you think something might work better for me, let me know. I really don't care. Um, I mean, I really do care. I don't mean it like I really don't care. I really don't care that you think that you might, well, I gotta say this better. Sandy, have that edit button working now. Have that edit button working. So let me take a minute to think about what I want to say so it's not offensive. If you really think it's something I need to know, do not be afraid that you're going to hurt my feelings and that I'm going to say something nasty about you or think nasty thoughts about you. I'm going to admire you all the more because you're being truthful with me. Like I said, everybody likes to hear nice things about ourselves and nobody likes to hear the faults that we have. And everybody has faults, even me. I know, it's hard to believe, isn't it? It's hard to believe that I have a fault. <laughs> but I have a lot. I have a lot of faults. I really do. But uh, that doesn't make me feel that I'm any less special to anybody. I really, I really do. I, I just want to leave the world knowing that someone's going to say, you know what, I knew Sandy and she was really kind of special. She really was kind of nice to me. I really, she really made a difference in my life. And she's really going to be missed. And I know that sounds like doom and gloom, but you know, like this is the beginning of a new week. Um, I have to start off my new week. I know that people say Sunday's not the new week and a Monday is and all that. I, I understand all that. Joan, I'm talking to you. <laughs> but anyway, um, I just I just think that if you if you every day is a new day and every day is special because you woke up. You woke up that day and, and that gives you something special to celebrate. But um, just know that you don't have to be extraordinary. You just really don't. You don't have to do like super feats. You don't have to be like superwoman, superman. You don't have to be any of that. You just have to be kind. You just have to be nice. You just have to be thoughtful. Um, so, much, so much now is going on in the world that there's just so much hate and um, just criticism of each other. And, and it's like, you know, we're all made from the same God. We're all, no matter what religions you are, uh, even if you don't believe in a religion, if you believe in whatever God you believe in, if you just like believe in the spirits all around you or whatever, we're all created equal. And we all have that same chance in our life to be special. And we shouldn't blow that chance. And if it's your birthday and you don't want to let me know, I completely understand but I have a birthday calendar and I have your names in, your, in there. Even if you want to give me a reminder that your birthday's coming up, just in case that you don't think, I don't know, maybe just in case Sandy might have forgot it was my birthday. I don't care. I'll put it in my book. I'll check and double check like Santa Claus does. I'll check my list and check it twice. And I don't care if you've been naughty or nice. I'm still going to sing to you because it's your birthday. You're special. And you need to remind yourself every day that you are special. You don't have to be the best friend in the world to everybody on the planet. But there is someone in your life that you are special, that they look at you with just sad, such admiration. I can look at pictures and, and just, just see love in a picture. As I'm saying that, I can see love in that picture. Even if I didn't know who those two people were, but I know who they are, I can look at that picture and I can see love. And I think that all of us know that. You can look at a picture of you with your children, your grandchildren, your friends, anybody, and just know that it's special. The time you have together, it's special, especially now with the numbers for the pandemic are going up again. Uh, they're telling us that we're not supposed to get together for Thanksgiving. Um, know that we can let each other know that we're special, even if we can't physically be together. There's so many ways we can do it. And... You don't have to be in the same room with someone to let them know how special they are. So if you're, if you're a child and your parents are still alive, call them on the phone. Talk to them. T 
talk to them in person if, on the phone. If you, if you want to go to their house, but just stay physically distant, like what we did at the beginning of the pandemic, we called them curbside visits, where my kids would come by and stay in the car, and then I would stay on the sidewalk and talk to them. Just some kind of thing to let each other know that you're special. Write a letter, not an email, not an email. Write a letter, put it in an envelope, put a stamp on it and mail it. I have so many letters that I've kept and every once in a while I'll pull them out and read them. And I can remember holding them in my hand the first time I read them. It'll bring back a nice memory and um, it just it just really touches my heart. I My birthday cards when my kids write, we always give each other funny cards, but even when they write something sweet inside of it, you know, I keep it. I keep it and I hold it all close to my heart because it reminds me that that I am loved. And you know you are loved too. And never forget, never, never, never forget how special you are because there's only one you. You are you. I wish I could remember that Dr. Seuss rhyme because there was a Dr. Seuss rhyme that told me how special you are. Because it, it was a really cute one too and I can't remember what it was. But if I can find it, I'm gonna put it in the end of my video because it was, I love Dr. Seuss. My, my son Jimmy, his favorite book was Are You My Mother? And I kind of like thought, oh my gosh, does he not know I'm his mother? Does he not know how special I am? How special he is to me and that he is my son? So uh, it's just always remember, never forget. You don't have to be extraordinary to be special. You just have to be you. So if anything you take from this message today, could it be, Sandy, let me think. Am I special? Yeah, you are. You're special. And don't ever forget it. And give me your birthday. Please, please, please. I love this saying. I know you don't like hearing me saying, but I love this saying. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit that like button, and share it if you think somebody like to see this. Because you know what? We all need to be in this together. We all need to remind each other how special we really are. Stay safe. Oh.